Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News. Bringing you a magnetic excursion update Wednesday, January 29th, 7.45 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. A pair of coronal holes are now facing Earth. Large coronal hole 11, which resembles some sort of animal, should be the main source of a solar wind stream past Earth, January 31st into February 1st. We could have some geomagnetic storms at high latitudes. Buckle up and keep calm. It's boom time. The Great Lakes froze in a way scientists didn't expect. Yes, they all said we were burning up and global boiling, and now the Great Lakes are back to, well, winter conditions. Flash flood watch issued for all Hawaiian islands through Friday. A flash flood watch is in effect for all Hawaiian islands from Wednesday evening through Friday evening. As a strong winter storm brings the potential for heavy rainfall and flooding across the state, the National Weather Service issued a warning advising residents to stay alert for conditions that could lead to flash flooding, and that means mudslides and other things in those Hawaiian islands. Although it's not guaranteed that flooding will occur, the agency said the situation could quickly develop. Heavy rain and thunderstorms are expected to intensify as a cold front moves down the island chain over the next few days. And here is the full forecast. Snow squalls in the northeast U.S., tracking storm moving into the southern U.S. And that means, well, we're going to see some severe weather down there in the southern U.S. over the next 48 hours. A clipper storm and Arctic front will trigger additional snow showers and squalls over the Great Lakes here. We can see winter storm watches and warnings throughout the Adirondacks and also interior New England, as well as the northern mid-Atlantic states into this evening making for hazardous travel. So heed the warnings and stay indoors if you can. A storm crossing the southern Rockies with heavy snow today will move over the south-central U.S., and that means it's boom time. Thursday with areas of severe thunderstorms, excessive rain, hail, and maybe even a sporadic tornado as the storm develops and moves to the southeast. Flood warnings are up here in all these counties in half a dozen states. Click on them at weather.gov for more information. Winter storm watches and warnings up for the Pacific Northwest as well. So heed those warnings as heavy snow could be coming and no one except Al Gore is bumming. This is what the GFS model looks like through Valentine's Day, February the 14th. Much of those uh, areas of snow won't hold up or they will shift to other regions, but it's looking like February is going to be a month to remember. And Al Gore will not be pleased. Let's walk through what will happen in the next three, six, and nine hours. The storm that just hit us, and we did put a little two-minute video up earlier before the show, so go watch that. It will be linked at the very end of the video here if you want to watch. And the snow has ended here, but it may linger overnight as much-needed snow for Colorado and the Four Corners region comes. But the big story is this atmospheric river coming down through the Pacific Northwest. Now, atmospheric river was not just invented. It's been around for 50 years, and it simply means... It's a type of storm that is not a, a hurricane or a cyclone, but is equivalent that hits in the higher latitudes, and in this case, the Pacific Northwest. These storms contain 10 to 15 times more water than a normal storm, and look what happens with this atmospheric river. It's going to deliver, in some models, 15 feet of snow to the Sierras in just a week and a half. Yeah, it's going to be huge. It's going to be wet. It's going to be deep. It's going to be deadly because in the lower elevations, that's going to be rain and it will be insane. The good news, Southern Cali, it will not be hit. Let's take a look at the total accumulated precipitation and see how much moisture is about to hit the Sierras in just the next week and a half. Watch this. This is February 3rd. That's just a few days out. February 5th, that's the next week. And that is showing over two feet of, of rain equivalent in the mountains. And that can transfer to 20 feet of snow depending on how it freezes. This could be a record-breaking epic event 
and deadly as well. If there's anyone in the mountains, it, as this progresses through February 7th, there could be some regions, according to the GFS, that get 20 feet of snow in just a few days. And that is unprecedented. Well, except for the blizzard of 1949, which you can check out on our Rumble channel. Seismic update. Well, the moderate uptick yesterday on the Ring of Fire has been reduced. We have low-level activity today worldwide. Good news. But we are waiting for a coronal hole uptick in seismicity in the next 48 hours. A new paper coming out, large magma bodies found beneath dormant volcanoes is surprising scientists. And look at this. They're using British Columbia and the Pacific Northwest to prove their point, and that's where the study occurred. A new Cornell University-led research challenges the long-term standing belief that active volcanoes have large magma bodies that are expelled during eruptions and then dissipate over time as the volcano becomes dormant. But according to this paper, it's the exact, well, that is not what's happening. There are, in fact, long-lived partial melts beneath dormant volcanoes in the Cascade Range. This means that the standard model of volcanology taught to geology students is incorrect, and even dormant volcanoes maintain large magma chambers underneath, only to be reactivated thousands of years later. And that's bad news for the Cascades, as we have some of the most active volcanoes on Earth waiting to go boom. In fact, there are dozens of them. So buckle up, Buttercup. Anything in the future is possible. Worldwide Volcano News for the 28th of January. Ibu to 8,000 feet. We've got Nuvado de Cruiz, 22,000 foot puff today. The seventh phase of the eruption ended today and restarted about six hours later. Svartsvangi ground deformation measurements reveal ongoing uplift and magma buildup beneath Grindavik, following a pattern similar to all the previous eruptions. That means more fantastic footage from Iceland coming soon. And that's a boom. Samadu, who knew? Now you do. Volcanic eruption was reported today. Santa Guito to 14,000 feet. Ibu to 8,000. Liwa to 8,000. Nevado de Ruiz, volcanic ash puffing and passing. Ducono to eight. Liwa to six. Ibu to eight. Liwa to eight. Samadu, puffing and passing, Santa Guito, 14,000 foot puff, ongoing eruption, Svartsvangi is about to erupt as the uplift there continues, Ducono to 8,000 feet, and finishing up the list is Canleon, volcano with a 9,000 foot puff. And that brings us to space weather over at Solarham. We've got low level activity, maybe reaching an M flare status earlier today, let's take a look. No, I don't see that on the list. So we've been in the sea range now for days. The sun is embarrassing. The latest HMI intensity is showing that, yeah, there is a sunspot group that has moved into view. And this one has grown a bit. But overall, very little threats as far as a Carrington event. The biggest threat are the coronal holes 11 and 12 facing Earth. The plasma wind from this will arrive to Earth in about 36 hours. Coupled with this, it'll be a 1-2 coronal hole punch, which, according to the detailed forecast, will drive geomagnetic conditions potentially on February 1st above KP4. But anything is possible. All of these scientists know very little, and their predictions are often wrong. Now, yesterday, SpaceX Starlink satellite sparks brilliant fireball as it falls from space over the U.S., and there were the fear mongers saying it's aliens and then the drones and yada, 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 but we've got the video. And here is the actual footage of that Starlink satellite re-entering and burning up into pieces. Now, if you didn't know, these satellites, all of them, hundreds and hundreds are being shot up into space they are designed to re-enter. Yeah, they're designed to come back to Earth. And so for the rest of your lives, we're going to have this SpaceX Starlink debris re-entering on a regular basis. Thanks, Elon. 
Astronomers discover a 196-foot asteroid with a 1 in 83 chance of hitting Earth in 2023. The good news is that the impact probability is very low, the object is very small, and the most likely outcome is nothing. More fear porn. NASA finds key molecules for life on OSIRIS-REx in the asteroid samples. And the question is, why didn't life form on Bennu? Well, the reason is there are 20 amino acids that create proteins required for life, and they only found 14 on Bennu. Who knew? Now you do. Building blocks of life are in space, just like we said. Guys, if you didn't know, Magnetic Reversal News got demonetized completely today and there's very little chance it will be remonetized. That's because it broke a rule that has been added to harmful misinformation that now includes contradicting authoritative scientific consensus on the existence and causes of climate change. The only problem with this statement and YouTube is that there is no such thing as scientific consensus. That's just antithetical and retarded, YouTube. There is no consensus in science. All science is controversial, and all theories are questioned continuously. That is called the scientific method. There is never something called consensus in science, ever. It doesn't even meet the definition of science. So YouTube can suck it. What that means is we all have to come over to Magnetic Reversal News on Rumble and subscribe because we're moving our channels to Rumble. Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News will be posting exclusively on Rumble moving forward. And that's because YouTube doesn't deserve a single dime of our ad revenue if they continue to treat us this way as being non-scientific when we are anything but that. We are scientists. So please subscribe to Magnetic Reversal News. All of our radio shows will be uploaded here because the channel is now demonetized, which means we're not in the algorithm. We won't gain any revenue and we are and I'm simply hemorrhaging. Yeah, we're not getting any money anymore. And I imagine they're coming after us on Oppenheimer Ranch Project on YouTube as well because every single video we've ever produced violates this ridiculous, harmful misinformation clause. If you have a moment, just email YouTube and tell them how ridiculous they are in claiming that there something exists called scientific consensus. Please Google the term science first and realize how consensus has nothing to do with science. And you can join us in just a few minutes on this same channel, an interview we did with Martin Durkin and Tom Nelson. Unplug yourself. Martin Durkin is a entrepreneur and a doc, one of the most hated documentary producers worldwide. Public enemy number one, he created the global warming scam back in 2007. I think it was called The Great Global Warming Hustle, and he followed it up with Climate, the movie this year, as well as many other amazing documentaries. We're also promoting a new channel called Guerrilla Science that came up on YouTube that is the creation of Martin Durkin and Tom Nelson themselves. Willie Soon was featured there, and Please join us for an amazing expose on what's happening with demonetization, what just happened to us, what's happening across the entire platform. We hope you will join us and support the work we do. Subscribe over at Rumble to Magnetic Reversal News and Oppenheimer Ranch Project because we're moving there because YouTube shut down my living, period. People don't realize how hard it is to speak the truth to a world full of people that don't realize they're living in a lie. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, especially our 
YouTube channels are now moving to Rumble. So join us on Rumble at Magnetic Reversal News and Oppenheimer Ranch Project because we are getting off YouTube. Who knew? Now you do. And that is a boom. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And that is a boom. Mm -hmm.